Happy Thursday, fourth graders. Today, it's kind of like a Friday because you don't have school tomorrow. So we are going to do something kind of fun today. We are going to create our own book talks. And the pur purpose of a book talk is to share the books that you love with people that you know so that they might be interested in reading the same book as you. So there are a couple of different components to be aware of when you are doing the book talk. You should always be sharing the title of your book, the author, and the genre. Remember that genre means the type of book. So we have nonfiction, there's fiction, realistic fiction, fantasy, fairy tale, folk tale, um, narrative nonfiction. So there are a lot of different genres that you can use, but I do want you to put the genre of your book in this Google slide. The next thing you're going to be doing is completing a book summary using somebody wanted, but so then. And you can leave it just the way it is. Just type in your summary next to the somebody wanted, but so then. If you would like, if you want to be more advanced, you can take that strategy and type it into a paragraph. Next, make sure you include your favorite part of the book. This doesn't have to be very long. I'm going to show you mine in just a minute, and mine is just one sentence about what my favorite part of the book was. Finally, you're going to finish this sentence. If you need to read this book, if you like blank. So you could say something like, you need to read this book if you like horror stories and mysteries and creepy books. Um, something that will get people intrigued about what your book is about. And finally, why don't you insert a picture of the book cover here so that people will be able to find the book easily if they wanted to go on Epic or Sora or search their local library. I am going to show you my book talk and I am going to talk through this like I would be actually giving a book talk. So I'm not going to um, read it exactly how it looks on my page. I'm going to use this as a reference of how I would talk if I was trying to sell a book to you. Hi everybody! The title of my book talk is the, from the book Holes. And the author of the book is Louis Sashar. He is also the author of Tail, um, I'm sorry, Boys in the Girls Bathroom as well as Fuzzy Mud. The genre of my book is adventure fiction because um, it's not always realistic in this book and the characters go on a lot of different adventures. This is a book about a main character named Stanley Yelnet and he wanted a luckier life. He was very unlucky, he didn't have a lot of friends, and people made fun of him. But he was arrested for stealing a famous pair of shoes even though it was just a mis misunderstanding and he was innocent. So, as a result of that, he got sent away to a juvenile camp in the middle of the desert. Then, He's going to have to work together with his new friend Zero to uncover the secrets to the past and escape the camp. My favorite part of the book is when the author goes back in time and tells flashback stories of Stanley's ancestors. You need to read this book if you like books that are a mix of humor, adventure, mystery, and friendship. I hope you check my book out. So fourth graders, that was an example of a quick book talk. And what you are going to have the chance to do today is you are going to have a chance to film your own book talk using Flipgrid. So you can use this template, this Google slide, as an example for you to go by. You can fill it out and then you'll be able to film yourself doing a book talk. And I will post an example Flipgrid in Flipgrid so that you can watch my video before you make your own. Remember on Flipgrid that you never have to film your face if you feel uncomfortable with that. You can either put a cool emoji over your face in Flipgrid or you can just cover up your camera with a piece of paper.
and talk over it. I hope this helped you figure out this assignment and I cannot wait to see your book talks on Flipgrid. Have a great rest of your day. Happy Thursday.